the Carver 1-3, Mesa, Arizona. The dirty polluters are out. I got a time lapse going right now. I mean the big boys head up. They're laying out the lines. Project Indigo, Scott Fold's happening. Check this dude out, Barb. Look at the size of this damn contrail. I mean, seriously. I mean, like, seriously, like, like, check this out. <laughs> Where is he? I know he's coming. Hang on. There he is. There he is. Project Indigo Scaffold. I'm on my Samsung 9, Note, whatever, Note Plus, something weird. Anyway, Stratospheric Aerosol Injection's going down, Mesa, Arizona. Body, body, body. Look at this. Yeah, man. That's the real deal, boys. See this big X in the skies? See that? That's the one the time lapse is still running. Showing how it started out. Just like that. I believe it's March 30th. This is Carver 13, YouTube handle. This is my content. <clears throat> we got some stratospheric aerosol injection going down. I was making a time lapse. That's all I do pretty much anymore. It's not worth filming, but this, this is unique. I mean, look at this prick. I mean, he, he squirts on. I'm gonna go over to where we can see it, okay? Sorry, if, maybe you'll see the bouncy, maybe you won't. Tell me this bullshit ain't real. Check this out. Starts there, cleans out. There's your clean out I keep talking about. They turn it on, they burp the system, and then they run it. That's a strato tanker. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's the best I got, folks. That dude is turning my sky white. And I was gonna let my fancy little time lapse show this to you, but you need to see this stuff happening, not blowing by. Stratospheric aerosol injection, sun dimming materials to cool the earth, solar radiation management. Just look up SRM. It's all real, it's government agencies, man. Wake up, quit playing video games and let's, let's deal with some reality. Let's look at saving the earth for our children. Okay, so what if you die and you don't care, right? Man, these guys suck. Dirty polluters, Mesa, Arizona, stratospheric aerosol injection. I do not consent. So what do you think? Think that's just some dumbass contrail? Do you? If you want to wonder where all your ailments and why everybody's dying and get tumors and cancer, getting sick, they're spraying it on you, man. They're putting in your foods and they all work together. You just think whatever you want, but look at that contrail and the size of that damn plane, boys, girls, kids. Anybody picking this up? geoengineeringwatch.org Dane Wigginton, the foremost expert. There's plenty of them on YouTube. There's about three guys that are really all that in a bucket of chicken. <clears throat> Reality is, I catch them. That's what I do. That's not a contrail, folks. This is not accidental. 
This is Project Indigo Skyfold Sky Whitening in Mesa, Arizona through stratospheric aerosol injection using commercial and military and leased planes. And there's somebody sitting in a room somewhere throwing switches. These pilots are just flying the planes. They don't even know when it comes on half the time until they hear the pumps going. They hear the heaters start because that's how it works. They heat it, they treat it, and they ship it out. Coal ash fly dumps. Look at this thing, man. What, how long has it been? Two minutes, three minutes? And that contrail is not even getting close to dissipating. It's growing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Man, this matrix. I tell ya. I had hoped they had lost the budget for this, but apparently I'm wrong. The birds are telling us, you hear them? They get pissed too. I swear to you. Maybe I'm just in tune with my nature and my world. Just take a look at this. There's a pentagram in my sky. What is going on in this world? Nutty. this has disbanded into this sky whitening is it chafing is it geoengineering is it solar radiation management is it nanotech aluminum am I getting Alzheimer is my COPD increasing what I forgot well I do say one thing though and I mean this sincerely you know, when you start to get COPD and your lungs don't work anymore and they're plugged up and you start to have these weird ailments and you start to really can't breathe and can't remember shit. At least you won't remember why you're dying. These airplanes that nobody wanted to look up at. And you got guys around the country, especially the Deckers and guys in England, David Yates. I mean, they're everywhere. I guess they call them truthers, I'm not really sure. I think they're people trying to preserve this world for their families, themselves. Maybe just what's right for humanity. But that's really asking too much in this day and age now, isn't it? My birds are telling you they don't consent. Tell them, you guys, I do not consent. Nature wants to go on, man. I think a lot of good things are happening. I think the swamp is being drained, but I'm just not sure if it's going to be fast enough. I'm just burning up footage here, man. You've seen so much of this. What am I doing again? But this is it, this is the real deal.
They're going down. They're turning this sky white. By this afternoon, it will be white, and there will be no blue anywhere in existence in Mesa, Arizona's sky. They've already started. Take a look at that sun. Does that look normal to you? Does anything about that look normal to you? <laughs> the world we live in. You know, if this stuff didn't hurt us and it was vitamins, I'd not be doing this. But I know we're all being taken out one by one. I just wonder if you'll believe it before they get you. I've already had my effects from this stuff. I know for a fact. I've had roommates who moved here who had to move away because of their RA would flare up so bad that he literally couldn't work. And we used to wonder where it came from. And uh, they told him it's environmental. Thousands of dollars of testing. My neighbor can't walk when they spray. He won't be walking tomorrow as this stuff starts to land on us. You can hear it in my voice. But anyways, five minutes of this crap enough. Peace out, Carver 1-3. Take care of yourself, love yourself, live it like there's no tomorrow because there may not be.